Well, a local family has turned tragedy into a movement of love, kindness, and giving back. Molly Day was created after 23-year-old Molly Griffin was killed by a drunk driver in February 2015. Since then, her family is honoring the way Molly lived by making her birthday, August 26, Molly Day. Here now with more on what the community is doing to celebrate Molly Day, let's welcome Molly's father, Doug Griffin, along with Stephanie Babb, Director of Marketing and Communications at Clovis Community College, and Elijah Banda, ASG President and Clovis Community Student. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I'm so excited to have you guys here, and today is Molly Day. Yes. How did this get started? Well, when we were uh, faced with uh, having lost our daughter, uh, we had a choice to make whether we were going to have her remembered about how she died or how she lived. And Molly was a young lady of incredible character, incredible kindness to others, uh, really encapsulated in her chosen profession, which was nursing. And so we decided to create Molly Day. Uh, I, that was my idea, but then my wife, who's smarter than me, took it and put it on steroids and said, let's have it a, a day dedicated to acts of kindness. And so that's what we started. Uh, this will be the fifth one today. Uh, and uh, it's just taken off. We've, we've seen people from all over the U.S. Uh, and even internationally. In fact, the first post we saw today on social media was from Lithuania. Wow. So uh, the movement has spread, and we just want to keep it going because uh, this world in particular really needs this kind of thing today. Absolutely. And yeah. when you say spread acts of kindness, mm -hmm. what are some of the things people are doing to do that? Well, they're as simple as, you know, paying for the next person in line at Starbucks. Uh, one of the ladies that I work with the last two years has bought groceries and paid off the utility bill for a single mom. Mm -hmm. um, all sorts of things. Uh, my brother-in-law uh, was in an airport in Toronto a couple of years ago and gave away his first class ticket to a nurse that he met there. Wow. Um, all sorts of things like that. Uh, you know, we, we encourage kids to get involved. We had a lot of kids do things uh, for various people, you know, at their school and, and outside of it. Uh, we, we've done backpack giveaways for the, for the poor communities in, in Fresno County and beyond. It's all, all sorts of things like that. Well, how does this feel for you? Do, I mean, like you said, it went as far as Lithuania and yeah. people doing this for the day. Like, how does that make you guys feel? Well, it's, it's very moving for us. Uh, you know, as you would imagine, today's a hard day for us emotionally. Um, but to, to, to see our daughter's legacy lived out like this, it's just, it, it, it's an incredible thing to see and it really helps with the healing process. This is not a thing that, uh, I, I have a couple of men that I've met through my church that were walking this journey together. They lost their children. Uh, you don't get over this, you just have to deal with it. And to see your child's legacy live on like this is an incredible help to that healing process. I can imagine. And yeah. you guys are partnering with Clovis Community. How did you guys start off this partnership? Well, we feel honored to be part of this partnership, honored and blessed, because Molly was a student at Clovis Community College taking classes, and um, before she went on to Fresno State and earned her nursing degree, she was a wonderful student, and she just had it in her heart. She was kind-hearted, and we want to help that legacy live on, and so we have a full week of events planned, um, from a blood drive tomorrow to coffee and kindness with our students this week, and then we also are doing cards to our veterans, so we have students that can stop by and fill out a nice card to a veteran, um, somebody they never met, but it's going to be a random act of kindness because our veterans need to hear from us and know that they're supported. So this is just another way we can do that. But we are just truly honored to celebrate her legacy and let the community, let the nation, let the world know what a kind soul she was. And we want to remember um, doing random acts of kindness. It doesn't have to cost money. It could be something simple, um, especially on our college campus because a lot of times our students may be going through something stressful so it's something as simple asking are they okay maybe they need a hug you know how's your day going um, something simple opening the door for somebody um, we can all do our part and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money absolutely just showing love to everyone that's exactly just what you want to do exactly as ASG president how how do you feel being a part of this what are you doing for Molly Day 
Um, so as ASG, we are funding coffee um, and like donuts for kindness. Um, and so on Thursday, from I believe eight to noon, we're going to be giving away coffee and donuts. You know, just for the students walking to class, even for fa even for faculty. Um, and it's just an ama amazing way to take part in it and truly like sp spread the kindness. Absolutely, and especially when you're in college, that yeah. really helps. It's a nice little pick me up throughout the day. You said there's. A few more events throughout the week, too. What are some of those events that'll be happening? The big one will probably be tomorrow with our blood drive, and so that is open to the public at Clovis Community College at Willow International, and that'll be from 9 to 1. So we invite anybody from the community who wants to do a blood donation, they can do that. And um, then we're going to have our notes to veterans, and then we're going to have our coffee and kindness with our ASG students. And um, we have today, we had Emily, who was her best friend, do a speaking engagement at the campus and that was really heartfelt because we had a room full of students and just being able to share the story and also students can hear about the dangers of, of driving and drinking and so that's a message that we're getting across too um, with everything out there like uber and different options we want students to know if you know don't get in a car if somebody's been drinking and driving or if they've been drinking please don't drive um, call your parents call a friend you know call a rideshare service that's an important message too because when people are lost from a DUI accident, it impacts so many people on both sides. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for all of this. And we're just about out of time, but you said you had a, you're spreading I the do. kindness. We're spreading the today. kindness. And Maddie, for you, um, Molly loved these types of flowers, the sunflowers. And so our random act of kindness is presenting you with this bouquet of flowers thank on behalf so of Molly much. and her family. I really appreciate you guys. And I really appreciate, I know, like you said, it's not an easy day, but. Thank you so much for spending part of the day with us and talking about Molly. Yeah, you bet. Thanks.